The airplane in this problem has its nose pointed due south, and we're told its airspeed is 35 meters per second. That's the speed of the plane relative to the air, so VP slash A. The wind, we're told, measured relative to the ground, is 10 meters per second, directed halfway between south and west. So these blue vectors are the velocity of the air relative to the earth. They have a length of 10 and a direction of 45 degrees from south towards west. Part A of the problem asks us to draw the relationship between the velocity of the plane relative to the earth and these two vectors. First, let's construct the velocity addition equation. The velocity of the plane relative to the earth equals the velocity of the plane relative to the air plus the air relative to the earth. Carefully notice the order of the subscripts here. On the left, plane relative to earth, P and E, are the first and last subscripts on the right-hand side, and the two middle subscripts match. That pattern always holds for relative velocity equations. We can draw these now. The plane relative to the air is straight down with a length of 35 meters per second. The velocity of the air relative to the earth is at 45 degrees with a length of 10. And I'll draw the velocity of the plane relative to the earth then, the sum of these two in green, and that's shown here. And that's the answer to part A. Part B asks us for the components of this vector. That's velocity of plane relative to earth x and y. Those components are shown here in light blue. Notice that the x component equals this, which is in the negative x direction with a length of 10 meters per second times sine of 45 degrees. And that gives you minus 7.1 meters per second. In the same way, the y component is found by adding up the y components of the two vectors. They're both in the negative direction, so we get negative 35 meters per second minus 10 meters per second cosine 45, and that gives minus 42 meters per second. Part C asks us for the magnitude and direction of this same vector. To find the magnitude, we use the Pythagorean theorem, take the square root of the sum of the squares of the components. You calculate that and find it equals 43 meters per second. Let's call the direction of this vector theta. That's shown here. It equals the inverse tangent of the ratio of the opposite to the adjacent lengths. That's calculated here and equals 9.6 degrees west of south.